Hello folks and welcome to the second episode of It's Cheap but Does It Sound Good. In this series I take a look at the uh, usefulness of uh, microphones that are cheap and easily obtained. In this episode I'll take a look at the Akai ADM25. So again, uh, I picked uh, this microphone up for about 10 bucks alongside two Philips microphones. And the first thing I want to mention really, which also goes for the previous Akai microphone I reviewed, is that these Akai microphones seem to be built very sturdily. Uh, they're made of metal, have a good uh, cap, and they also have quite a bit of weight to them, which is usually a good sign when it comes to microphones. And uh, for example, the two Philips microphones that I also bought, they're made of plastic, they're very lightweight. And um, yeah, they're definitely a lower quality compared to uh, the Akai microphones, even though they come from the same uh, time. Now, seeing as this is a uh, dynamic vocal microphone, uh, of course, I'm gonna test it out with some vocals and grunts and whatnot. Uh, but I already have a dynamic microphone and that's my DAP Audio PDM25. I also use this a lot for my videos. Um, in fact, at this, I think this is the first time I record a video for this channel with a, uh, a different uh, microphone for my voiceover. Because I usually use this thing. Now I'm using a Behringer uh, C1 condenser microphone. Yeah, I really want to make a shout out to this microphone because it really fits the bill for this series. It's uh, pretty good quality, it's very cheap. You get three of these for 45 bucks brand new. Of course, for just 45 bucks, these things uh, aren't amazingly good, but they certainly get the job done, both for voiceovers as vocals. I've used this thing so many times already, and I'm pretty happy with it. So in this episode, I'll also take a look at this microphone by comparing it to the Akai ADM25. ADM now, without further ado, let's get cracking on some vocals first. Um, I'm gonna do two different style of vocals. Uh, first is a short little cover of Nine Inch Nails Hurt, as that song has really mellow, you know, calm vocals. Um, for the second test, I'll uh, do something more louder and aggressive. Um, it's a snippet from one of my own songs, uh, which includes uh, rather loud, kind of the belting type of clean vocals, uh, but also uh, high and low grunts. Now usually I run my microphones through a tube preamplifier into my compressor and then in, uh, through my audio interface into the computer. I won't do that for this test, even though it's vocals. Uh, I want to have an uncolored, I want an honest, direct sound. What you hear is what you get. I hurt myself today to know if I still feel I focus on the pain It's the only thing that's real I hurt myself today To know if I still feel I focus on the pain it's the only thing that's real are you such a monster that you would ignore the truth are you so corrupt that you would rather live in lies live in lies Nihilistic mind Are you such a monster that you would ignore the truth? Are you so corrupt that you would rather live in lies? Live in lies Nihilistic mind 
Now, one thing I do want to try, however, and that is recording acoustic guitar along with vocals at the same time. I uh, always want to do uh, some acoustic guitar covers, which, which I play and sing at the same time. Um, but unfortunately, my um, previous Akai microphone, the ADM40, wasn't really uh, up to the task, to say the least. So I'm going to first try the Akai microphone with uh, just an acoustic guitar, see how that sounds. And then I'm going to combine it with my Dep Audio microphone for the vocals and I'll, uh, I'll play uh, 9 inch nails heard entirely acoustically. Though I think it will be more like Johnny Cash's heard at this point, but <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Okay, so this is gonna be a little cover. <laughs> Let's see how much I fail. I will make 
like you heard Then if I could start again A million miles away I would keep myself I would find a way Yeah <laughs> oh jeez. So the final early morning verdict. Um, pretty happy with it when it comes to vocals. Uh, it definitely sounds a little bit more thinner than uh, the DAP audio microphone. Uh, it seems to have a slight drop in the frequency response uh, when it comes to the low mid range. Um, say around 5000 hertz uh, and also there's a slight drop uh, around 11,000 to 13,000 hertz my opinion uh, didn't really affect the quality that much it kind of depends on the, what kind of vocals you are doing like if i if i do low grunts like then i definitely go for the depth audio microphone um, but maybe for a bit more higher vocals uh, backing vocals uh, perhaps uh, um, i think I might try using this uh, thing in a few mixes. As for acoustic guitar, I wasn't really expecting much anyways. Um, of course, this is a non-directional dynamic microphone. Uh, those aren't really that useful for um, recording things like acoustic guitar. Uh, but it was a nice little experiment, um, you know, playing and uh, singing at the same time uh, worked pretty decently. Um, the case is uh, sturdily built, made out of metal, um, the, the cap is strong, um, it feels pretty good in your hand. It's, it's quite a bit thinner than uh, the usual microphones, but I actually kind of like how it uh, fits in my hand. Uh, you have this nice area which gets thicker. Um, which is, gives it a nice spot to hold. Um, another thing to mention, it has a little on off switch. Not something I'd look for in a microphone really. Um, it's not a feature I care for, but hey, <laughs> if you need it, uh, maybe for live. Like all, most old microphones, it has a jack plug instead of an XLR plug. That also goes for uh, the uh, Kai ADM40, the microphone I uh, reviewed in the previous episode. Um, so of course these signals are unbalanced. Um, I will say I haven't really had an issue with that. Um, uh, unbalanced and, uh, connectors uh, tend to have uh, more risk of uh, you know noise, uh, uh, ground loop noise, electrical noise, whatever. But uh, so far it hasn't bothered me. I guess I lucked out. It's definitely something that's worth the 10 bucks. Now, as for the uh, next episode, I'm not sure actually what I'm going to review. I had some great tips from you guys, however. Um, some uh, great uh, advice on, oh, these are good microphones, uh, you should review those. Uh, they, they, they fit the bill uh, for this series. And uh, So thank you for all the feedback, uh, I really appreciate it. And it really gives a boost to this series because uh, well i'm just one person and i'm uh, limited in my knowledge and uh, my understanding so if i can get help from other people that only increases the knowledge so i hope you enjoyed this episode of it's cheap but it sound good and uh, i'll see you guys next video and stay metal